Um, it's kind of my first day back in New York after Sierra's wedding. It's Tuesday actually. I got back yesterday morning, but I was on a red eye and I got less than an hour of sleep on this red eye. So yesterday was kind of a wash for me. I got back at like 8.30, slept until noon. Um, and then I was awake and groggy and like trying to get stuff done from like 12 to five, fell asleep again at five, woke up again at 6.30. I was just not a productive member of society yesterday. But <laughs> last night I got to bed around like nine, 9.30 and slept until 6.45 this morning. So hopefully getting back on a good sleep schedule. Sat up for like 15 minutes just to make sure I was awake awake <laughs> and not gonna fall asleep again. And then I booked a rumble class. So I rumble at 8 a.m., which is in 20 minutes. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go. It's probably about to start thunderstorming outside. And um, I don't know, I just find that workout classes are the best way for me to jump start getting back into my routine after traveling. So that's what we're doing. I haven't been to rumble in a minute. I actually never go to morning classes at rumble. So this will be fun. And I have my pre-workout, I'm gonna walk there and go to Trader Joe's after, and then we'll be able to like shower, kick off the day, and focus on my interview prep because I have an interview tomorrow. Welcome back to the vlogs. I can't wait to recap the wedding with you guys later. Such an incredible weekend, and of course it went by so fast, and I miss it already so much, but it was the best of times. So now we're back at it in the city. Let's go get our rumble on. That was stupid. Okay, I'm all red now, but that was such a good rumble class. I'm really glad that I went to serve my day. Um, I met a girl named Grace who said she was to watch my YouTube videos back today, so shout out. And now I'm going to do the jobs and got to stock up on groceries because it's been a minute. got um i'm gonna do caesar salad wraps this week i already have vegan parmesan cheese so um i was just gonna get normal caesar or romaine but they had a kit it has romaine croutons cheese and dressing i wanted to get that just in case this vegan dressing isn't it for me <laughs> um i am like i try to eat at home almost all gluten and dairy free but Honestly, I do, I have been more lenient recently because my skin's been better and that's why I avoid gluten and dairy usually. Exhibit B, chicken cilantro wontons. I just love these. They're such a good, easy, frozen, pop it in the microwave snack if I'm in a pinch. Turkey breast, turkey bacon, turkey burgers. This is the turkey corner. We already cooked grilled chicken breast for the wraps and a sweet potato. I got carrots and hummus for a snack. For sweets, I got these oat chocolate bars with crispy rice are so freaking good, you guys. I like them way better than the regular bars. And crystallized ginger, candy ginger. I got more eggs, avocados. I got more romaine because I use these on like breakfast Sammies. And I figured if I run out of this dressing, I could just chop this up for more Caesar. And I did get flour tortilla wraps because Gluten-free ones usually are made from nut flour, which I'm allergic to. So I might try and see if I can find some at Whole Foods that I can eat. But if not, it's fine if they're just, you know, wheat wrap, gluten-free bagels, and bread. So that is my little haul for the week. I'm excited to try making these wraps. I'll make one for dinner tonight, and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I also ordered a little, like, salad chopper on Amazon that's supposed to come today. So... We'll see how that goes too. Okay, it is a bit later now. Um, I kind of got ready while I was doing a little bit of work, like listening to videos and stuff. And now I'm gonna head to the coffee shop that I tried to go to last week that was having construction. 
Um, I checked their Instagram and it seems that they're open. So fingers crossed. If not, there's alternatives. Um, but it's called Hide and Seek and it turns into a cocktail bar at night and it looks like a good place to get some stuff done. So that's what I'm doing. Bring in my laptop and my charger and I'm just gonna spend the afternoon there. I ate food here, so then I'll just come back. Well, actually the trivia we're going to is over there, but I kind of don't think I'll stay out all day because I want to come home and have dinner and stuff, maybe change. So let's go focus in a coffee shop. <laughs> the day I just stopped at Whole Foods on my way back from the cafe and I successfully found some gluten-free tortillas that I'm not allergic to so I picked these up they're by Maria and Ricardo they're made with quinoa flour so they look good they're a good size too and they looked the most like flour tortillas so I'm excited to try these I'll probably just give the wheat tortillas to a friend or something and then I also got some gluten-free pretzels to eat with hummus um, and more oat milk and this just sounded good and it was on sale. It's a probiotic sparkling drink. So it's like kombucha, but not tea. I'm gonna drink this and chug some water. I was drinking water at the coffee place, um, but I don't know why. I just feel like I need a gallon of water. Maybe I just, from the weekend, still haven't caught up. Hide and Seek was such a good place to work. I would definitely recommend it. They had so many seats and it went like back into the other room too. The guys behind the counter were super friendly and the coffee was good. I didn't try any of the pastries or anything. Um, and then they also turned into a bar. Really productive on my interview prep. I'm gonna finish up doing some more here for the next couple hours before I make dinner and then head to trivia. I'm feeling good about my interview. I'm feeling excited mostly. I'm gonna run through some of the like, you know, elevator pitch kind of things that I would say out loud um, and keep doing what I'm doing. And I think that I'll be pretty well prepared, hopefully. You never know. First step for my Caesar wraps, I'm making my own gluten-free croutons. So I'm just using some of this gluten-free bread from Trader Joe's. Um, I bought a new loaf today, so I had this left over, which I thought would be perfect for toasting the croutons. I kind of like big croutons, but also it'll be easier if they're like crunched up, I don't know. Okay, so kind of like this. I'm just gonna chop up all the rest of these and then toss them with oil, garlic, whatever else seasoning that it says online and put them in the air fryer at like 375 to try them out, toast them up. I put them in the air fryer and they're like a little bit chewy. I think I started them on too high of a temperature. I should have done lower, slower. Oh no, that one was crunchy. Mm, I put some melted butter, salt, pepper, garlic seasoning and a little bit of garlic infused olive oil. Very good. And then I have some romaine in here. I chopped up some chicken into finer pieces. The Parmesan, we're eyeballing all of this. And I'm heating up my stove just to warm up the tortilla. The vegan Caesar, I tested this out and the tortilla to make sure I like really wasn't allergic and it was good. So, I'm just gonna do the whole sweet green turn and toss with dogs and try and coat everything evenly. Yeah, this is kind of a lot of filling. I kind of like a lot of food dogs too. So I'm just gonna lightly sort of crush them. Caesar salads are so easy. Why have I not been making these for myself for dinner anyway? I'm just gonna carefully place these down the middle. Also, I think these are a little smaller than normal flour tortillas. Sides in, oh no, tuck it and roll. There she goes. Not bad. Right down the crouton. The wrap is a little bit small, so it's not super secure, but she's cute. Let's try a bite. Great crunch from my homemade croutons. I'm impressed. It doesn't taste gluten and dairy free, it tastes good. It's slightly falling apart, so I'm gonna eat these with the salad on the side. <laughs> and that's my dinner before I head to trivia. So, 
cheers to that. Getting ready to head out to Trivia, I'm just putting on my shoes. But just wanted to say that that Caesar wrap was very good, even though it didn't really stay together. Um, I think maybe I'll have to make two because the wraps are smaller. Or I'll just have like a little bit in the wrap and then eat the rest of the salad on the side, which is what I ended up doing. But it was good. So all of those gluten-free, dairy-free things that I tried were a success. I did a little more interview prep, um, reading over some of their policies. And now taking a little evening break for Sex and the City trivia. Why are both of my shoes on time? I was just wearing these earlier. Um, and I'm bringing these flour tortillas with me um, to give to a friend because she said she wanted them. I watched a couple episodes of Sex and the City last night to refresh. I mean, I, I've i seen the whole series all the way through. I'm just someone who doesn't retain shows or movies that I haven't seen in the last maybe year. So I first watched it when I moved to New York in 2019 and then I've sporadically watched episodes just for fun when I felt like it since then. So we'll see how we do. Please clap for every team when we get them to make us feel good because this is fun. Trivia is fun. No? Great way to spend a Tuesday. Okay, I'm getting ready now. We are less than two hours away from my interview. Listening to last minute interview tips. Trivia last night was um, kind of a flop because we ended up leaving early. <laughs> it was taking so long. There were so many teams this time. Last week there was nine, but this week there were 24 teams and it literally took like an hour and a half just to get through two rounds. And it was 10 p.m. finally and they weren't even like on the last round and we were just like, okay, we gotta go back, we gotta go home. So we did not defend our title, but that's okay. I think what gets me about interviews is just the pit in your stomach of like anticipating being blindsided with a question and not having anything to say immediately and just like going blank. Like that's, I think what makes me the most nervous. Not that I've ever really been in that position, even questions that I hadn't prepared for. We shall see. I put on this white mock neck and necklace. Um, I feel like this is good for the interview, simple. And I'm testing out my camera angle with zoom to make sure that everything looks good, lighting, etc. I think I'm gonna open this a little bit more. I'm just having the AC on to cool the apartment down so I don't have to turn it on while I'm on the call. I'm feeling nervous. Uh, it's three minutes out. I gotta like log on and make sure that my Teams is okay and all that, but here we go. Ugh. Oh my god, you guys, that went good. That went so well. I literally just closed Zoom. Um, okay, I'm excited about that. I think it sounds really good. And the people were nice. The interview, I think, went really smoothly. I didn't get any questions that like tripped me up or I was unprepared for, or you know, it was just very kind of standard good conversational and I had a lot of time for questions at the end so it was like a good dialogue and I got done early. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but that also happened with the last job that I got was that the interview was shorter than they anticipated but I don't know. Oh my god it feels so good to just like relax though. They said that I'm the last interview and they're making a decision after this because they're only doing like one round of interview plus the writing assessment so I should find out in the next couple weeks, they said. I'm gonna go through what I always do after an interview is um, kind of like put in green on my interview prep document the questions that I was asked and then add any that I didn't have written down and get on with my day. I'm so glad that that went well. Okay, it's about an hour later um, after my interview and decompressed, updated my document, ate some lunch, and now I'm trying to... There we go. Now I'm headed out. Um, I'm gonna go to Chelsea to a coffee place. 
this place I've had bookmarked and it looks really cute. It's called Cafe Floor and it has flowers all over. I know I just went to a coffee shop yesterday, but like, I feel like I'm already ready for the day and I have energy, so I might as well. And it's a nice day. It's like 80 degrees. I don't think there's any rain in the forecast. Unlike yesterday, it was raining when we came back from trivia last night. Um, catch up on some other stuff that I've been putting off with my interview prep. So social media stuff and also um, planning for a trip this weekend. This weekend, I think I'm going to Rhode Island where my friend is from and we're gonna stay with her family for 4th of July weekend. Yeah, let's go to Cafe Floor. Home from the cafe, um, that place is really cute. It was like a huge juice bar on one side and coffee place on the other and they had a lot of seating so it was good having a snack carrots and hummus watching some youtube videos i don't even know if i said what i'm doing tonight um tonight i was invited to a jazz lounge in the lower east side to like try it out try their drinks and make a tiktok for them which is fun um it's called silver lining lounge so i'm going with a couple of my friends and we're gonna check it out. We love a jazz bar. I haven't been to see live music in a while, like in a bar setting. This is what I had planned the week that it was really smoky in New York, and I rescheduled it because I didn't wanna go out unnecessarily. It's not till 9.30 though, so I have time. You guys, I just literally went down an hour and a half rabbit hole of watching my own old vlogs. I don't know what got me thinking about it. I think I was just like, Wow, it's been so long that I did a work week in my life that I wonder like what I even filmed back then. That sounds dramatic, but I'm talking about like when I was in person every single day. So I went back and started watching some vlogs when I first got to New York and was working full time at UNICEF. And wow, it is such a throwback and it puts me in such a weird headspace. I'm sure if you're not a social media person, even just looking back at old photos sometimes, but there's just something about like watching yourself speak and like remembering what it was like to be in that moment. And also you really don't realize how much has changed until you're looking at yourself four years ago and you're like, wow, I was so different, but so the same. It's nostalgic to look back on because that was like such an exciting time in my life. But also I remember, I don't know if I should say this, but whatever, I've already talked about it before. I remember how much I did not like that job for me. It just was not a good fit. And I was so like dreading going to work every day. Just like watching me in that space, but also it's such a happy time, but also just like burning myself into the ground. Like I was doing things every single day and like had plans and social plans after work and working out and all this stuff that was just, wow. Like me today does not have the bandwidth for that. Made another Caesar wrap and this time, I think, yeah, the idea, I think it's just good to have like half of it in the wrap, not even half, and most on the side. I should probably turn this off, like it's it's enough, um, and just go back to watching other vlogs, but wow, what a trip. Hello, it is later now. I just kind of like touched up my makeup and changed to head to Silver Lining Lounge. Also, I forgot to mention, I don't think I did any sort of follow-up about my brow lamination in this vlog yet. Okay, this is really bright. But I got my eyebrows laminated on Thursday. Today's Wednesday, so it's been almost a week. I mean, they're supposed to last six weeks, maybe. Absolutely obsessed with it. After the first day, I didn't, I washed like the bottom part of my face, but I didn't get my eyebrows wet for the first 24 hours. And after that, then you're just good to go and just kind of like brush them up. And I was putting argan oil on them that she gave me and just trying to like keep them in place when I can because they still can get pushed out of place but the thing is my normal eyebrows would be falling down flat like they don't move they're perfect and now I fear that I'm going to be addicted to brow lamination and paying a hundred dollars every six weeks for this that's the update I'm obsessed and this is what I wanted. I've been so frustrated with my eyebrows for so long and I could have just done this and solved all of my problems. If you have hard to deal with brows and you like the look of brushed up 
or like fluffy eyebrows, but you can never get yours to stay. Just try getting them laminated once. I honestly like don't even fill them in that much anymore. Um, I don't really think dark eyebrows look good on me necessarily, but maybe I just don't do them right and I could try getting them tinted and see how it goes. Also, I found this dress in my closet that I completely forgot I essentially stole from my mom. She gave me this dress when I was going on semester at sea and she was like, oh, this will be so nice for like the hot places. And it's really cute. It's just a simple, long maxi black tank dress. And clearly she doesn't miss it because I've had it for seven years. It's really comfy. It's just good for hot weather, simple scoop neck maxi dress it does go all the way down but i tied it up just because i think it's cute with the cowboy boots yeah it's like almost 80 degrees still and it's kind of humid today i don't know where it's from i didn't recognize the brand and it's probably like 30 years old but such a good summer item so i'll definitely be wearing this again okay i'm so excited i guess i'll show you guys in the mirror oh what is this deliverables for the thing sorry i just got an email about this little roll thing that i'm about to go to thanks mom <laughs> and I'm wearing this layered necklace that I wore earlier in my interview at my interview during my interview and This bracelet um, Is from Sierra all of our bridesmaid party has matching ones and it has a little K on it. How cute is that? I'm so excited. Let's go. I'm ready for some nice live jazz <laughs> doing editing I'm actually editing the beginning of this vlog usually I get busy on the weekend so I try and edit the first half of the vlog on like Wednesday or Thursday depending on how much footage I have and when I have time and then I'll edit the rest like maybe Saturday morning or something yeah having a productive morning here I was gonna go to the gym but I got an email that they're closing the fitness center for a few hours for cleaning, maintenance, something like that. So I'm just gonna go in the afternoon instead. So I'm getting my editing done now. I don't really have plans to go anywhere. I don't have evening plans either at this point. So it'll be chill. I don't remember if I filmed a clip when I got home last night. I don't think I did because I would have seen it imported on here. But the jazz bar, which actually, to be fair, the musicians who were playing, it was not a jazz band, but it was advertised as a jazz bar. So I'm thinking they just have different nights with different bands and different kinds of music. Cause last night they were like rock kind of, but it was really fun. They were great. The singer was like so charismatic and he was so good at mimicking different voices. Like he did a Bob Marley song and a Bruce Springsteen song and Billy Joel, like so many iconic singers that he did a great job emulating. So. Yeah, it was really fun. Um, the vibe was really great at that place, Silver Lighting Lounge. Definitely would recommend in the Lower East Side. So we stayed there until like 11.15 and then I just came home and read some of my book and went to sleep. Now I'm gonna eat food and watch Love Island and then kind of just keep editing and then go to the gym and we'll see from there. Friday now. It's like middle of the day. Excuse to go for a little walk. It's really warm out today. It's like 85. So just walk to the neighborhood. Wearing a dress. It's like literal all I wear in all these dresses. Time of year. And let's go start.
later now. Um, I got caught up on things that I was putting off, just like admin stuff, boring, getting back to people, blah, blah, blah. I'm getting ready now because in an hour I'm going to meet um, some friends for dinner. It's actually kind of sad because one of our good friends is moving to Boston. She's leaving this weekend. It's the last supper. And it's just always sad when one of your friends moves out of the city. This is one of the friends that I first made in New York. She moved here like two months right after I did. And we became friends through a mutual friend. And I was when I was re-watching old vlogs earlier this week, I actually stumbled on the vlog where we hung out for the first time. And I just like remember that era of all of us being new to New York and like, doing all these things together and getting close so quickly and oh, it's just so sad and nostalgic and life just moves so fast like that. Speaking of weird feelings in terms of like nostalgia and being reflective, I feel like I've had such a reflective week. I don't know, you guys, something about watching those videos like really affected me so much more than I thought it would. I guess I've been more focused on just like talking about how much I want a job, etc. but I think the greater underlying issue of this like period of my life, the transition, the really wanting to progress in my career. It's more so just the feeling of stagnancy. And that's been something that I've always struggled with. I just always want to feel like I'm growing. And I think what's been really hard for me in this period of my life of this, you know, last year almost, but I don't know, like I've always put my own self worth i guess and validation on academic and professional success but also just like always doing something always challenging myself and always growing and i feel like this has really been a time where i've kind of had to challenge the idea of what that means and what that looks like it's just me feeling like i'm not going forward or growing or like i don't know and obviously you can do those things without being in a new job but basically what i'm getting at the thesis statement of this is watching those videos back just listening to myself talk even seeing how i was i was also watching videos from 2021 like two years ago now I feel that long ago like in some ways it does but really like at this age i feel like two years isn't as crazy amount of a time looking back so much more has changed and i've grown so much more than i gave myself credit for and it really really helped me kind of put in perspective that like wow, I really have learned so much about myself and changed so much internally even, and maybe it's not like the outward accomplishments and huge strides and milestones outwardly to other people, but just knowing myself and watching me then and also like seeing where I'm at now, I don't know, it's just made me really, really grateful for this time and like realizing that maybe I have grown a lot more in different ways that in the past I wouldn't have given myself credit for or even like been aware of the way that I am now. And I saw this quote from Brianna Weist, which I called her Brianna Weist for probably two years since I started reading her books. And um, it wasn't until I went to her book signing in May that I learned that I was saying it wrong. I reposted it on my story if you follow me on Instagram. Um, and I wanted to read it to you because I feel like it just really encapsulates kind of that feeling. You may fear the quiet times in your life when your soul goes through a winter. However, it's often those same times when the most profound and human work of all is being done. Be still, do nothing. It is both the quiet and the sound that writes the symphony, the blank canvas and the paint that makes the picture, the rest and the movement that gives you the wisdom, insight and clarity to press forward more boldly than ever before. Wow, and I just feel like that's what it's felt like now i'm just venting <laughs> um but it really has just felt like a winter that i just keep waiting to get on the other side of it's kind of been nice for me this week to really have that pause and give myself the credit of wow i really am a different person than a year ago even two years ago and i've grown so much and changed so much internally Yes, it seems quiet, like I don't have these huge life changes and big announcements and making moves. It's reminded me of that phrase that is day to day and nothing changes, but you look back and everything is different. But looking back, like I truly have grown so much and a lot has changed, just not in the ways that I maybe wanted it to. <laughs> Um, anyway, now I'm rambling and probably repeating a lot of what I already said. Hopefully this like resonates with someone and if you needed to hear that, hopefully it helps you out because it's definitely, you know, 
the kind of thing where maybe you'll hear it a million times or you could read it in a book but it's not until you kind of come face to face with it and like really truly learn it for yourself that it's going to actually make a difference for you okay, i'm gonna finish getting ready now and then edit this tiktok that i need to post for a brand I'm about to head out i feel like i really should have self tanned today but whatever i'll do it tomorrow i'm wearing this princess poly crop top that i rediscovered in my drawer the other day and this zara midi skirt kind of it's not quite maxi because it hits calf length and I'm putting on Aquatic Vanilla from Dossier Train. So we're gonna try and go to Oxamoco, I think I said earlier, did I? And see if we can get a walk-in. It's usually booked up and I've never actually gotten a reservation there, but I'm wondering, cause it's 6 p.m., it's kind of early. Hopefully we can get a walk-in. If not, there's a bunch of restaurants around there. That is that. Slicked my hair back and now I'm gonna head and grab the train. I'm kind of wondering if I should bring sunglasses, but well, it's still going to be light out for a couple hours. Maybe I will. So, yeah. That's it. I guess I'll show you in the mirrors. So, it's pretty simple outfit. And I just like wearing skirts um, and dresses when it's warm out. I was going to wear a dress. But, I don't know. This just felt right. So, that's what we're doing. And let's go to dinner. It was basically just like... Thank you. I am gonna wrap up this vlog. I thought about I thought about extending it to tomorrow, but I'm not. I want to edit it so I can get it up before I leave on Sunday. So I'm gonna end it off here. Um, dinner was so good at Oxamoco. We did get a seat. Um, we walked in at 6 p.m. and they sat us outside. We didn't have to wait. It was great. It was delicious. I got lamb barbacoa tacos and a margarita, and they were chefs. Also, their guac, amazing. Would recommend. So I'm glad we got to go. Um, it was bittersweet saying goodbye to my friend who's moving. It's like eight something, maybe 8.15 and I'm home. So I just got my mail. First, this looks like a box from Aussie. And you guys, I've been using the Aussie Three Minute Miracle since high school. Aussie, take your spring showers to the next level. Miracle Repair Collection, your new wash day secret weapon. Hell yeah, maybe I'll use this tomorrow. I don't even know what it is. Oh my God, we got a full size wet brush. I have always wanted one. I have a little mini travel one, but this is amazing. A shower steamer, lavender aromatherapy, a microfiber bath bug. What is that? Bath mat. Oh, how nice. Miracle repairer, which is good because my hair is always damaged AF. A repairing mask, a bond protecting serum. Always in need of repairing products. And that's so exciting. Thank you, Aussie. Got a PR package from Suja. They sent a greens powder. I didn't even know they had one. I also got a box from Alani New. I unfortunately am allergic to these because they have nuts in them, but they have really yummy sounding protein bars. If only I could eat them. They have Rocky Road and Caramel Crunch. It came a little bit opened. Um, so I'm gonna have to give these to a friend or something. And then this was the salad chopper that I ordered. So maybe I'll use it next time maybe i'll make a salad tomorrow for lunch or something hope you all enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching stay tuned for next week hopefully more updates news hopefully good news i could use some but you know what we never really expect it so um yeah we're just along for the ride love you guys so much subscribe if you're not already follow me on instagram tiktok to see my other content and i'll see you next week bye